Hello and welcome to our Training Monday webinar session. As we have seen in our previous video today, we are speaking about our Evolve series with the main focus on our latest and greatest product, which we recently launched, our Evolve 50M, and how to configure, control, and monitor our speaker via our QuickSmart mobile app. As you might recognize, uh, our software engineer, Michael Pindel, looks a little bit different. So in this sense, um, I can introduce here Christian and myself. So we are taking over this session right now. Um, to give you a brief overview about the upcoming 30 up to 45 minutes. So I will start with a brief introduction of our Evolve lineup, and then I will hand over to Christian who is guiding us through the Quick Smart mobile app and will explain detailed the feature and functionalities of our app, also with a reference of all of our product lines which are implemented in our app, which starts by ELX 200 and then switches over to our Evolve series. And at the end of the session, we will have a short Q&A round. So in this sense, uh, please make already now use uh, of the comment function which we have in the chat. So if some questions pops up or raises, and please feel free to, to put it in the comment box and at the end of the session, be going through it and uh, try to answer it. So let's get started. Then we have a look on our Evolve lineup. Then we know uh, our, of course, our legendary Evo 50, which is, uh, has already a great reputation on the market which we extended then beginning of last year with the Evo 30M and this year then on top with Evo 50M. The main differences between Evo 30M and Evo 50, 50M of course is once the form factor because with Evo 30M we are uh, we having a column loudspeaker with a 10 inch sub in a column array with six 2.8 inch new demon drivers and the Evo 50 and of course also the Evo 50M follows the same form factor of the Evo 50. We are delivering here the bigger brother in this sense which has a 12 inch sub and a column array of eight 3.5 inch new demon drivers. From the design and feature set itself of course all of the all of these three models follow the same concept, which means we have our wave guided uh, column array for ultra wide coverage of 120 degrees in the horizontal and 40 degrees in the vertical. We also are using superior components for professional sound reinforcements and power and reliability. And on top, the 30M and 50M has then also an integrated digital. Um, onboard, mic onboard mixer, which offers a lot of studio quality effect, which then also Christian will show later on. On top to our Evo 50M, we will also introduce our new technology QuickSmart Link, which is used for digital audio and DSTP control. So here we have the possibility to connect two Evo 50M systems via CAT5 or CAT6 cable, and then we can double our input <coughs> channels so now here now it's not <laughs> quite slight i'm sorry and then we can double our input channels up to eight line inputs then two stereo channels and finally also the bluetooth channels and that's already the keyword where i'm handing over to christian that we have a detailed look on our Christmas mobile app Hi, welcome uh, to all of you, um, and thanks, Jacqueline, for the introduction. Um, I will explain you uh, now in the next 20 to 30 minutes a little bit um, uh, how the Quick Smart Mobile app works. Uh, works as a tool, not only for musicians, also for sound engineers. And um, uh, I will, of course, not hold my telephone into uh, into the camera. What I will do, actually, uh, I will share. One moment. I will share my screen, and uh, in my screen, I have mirrored uh, my telephone. So what you see there uh, now, uh, 
on the screen is my telephone and I can also use it, of course, in both ways, vertical or horizontal and it's changes also on the screen. So this gives you a better um, overview on what I am doing. So actually the app is uh, already um, on the market and available since we introduced ELX 200. Um, and since then we had um, some major changes on that app also, and I will not only show you the new functionalities, uh, including uh, Evo 50M in example, but I will also show you a little bit about the changes on the app uh, itself. So um, to do that, I will start now with the first member and the first speaker we had in the product line uh, or in the portable lineup, which was uh, able to control or is able to control with uh, the Quick Smart Mobile app. It's the ELX 200. So let's grab now uh, ELX 200. And by the way, just to explain it, I'm using now the demo mode of the app. Later on, I will switch uh, uh, into the normal mode and. Uh, hook up to Evo 50 amps. But now for the intro, I will start in the demo mode, which is also a great tool for you and for your customers to learn about uh, the app and the functionalities. So uh, download the app if you don't have it already and install it on your uh, tablet or mobile phone and test it, test it with the demo mode. Okay, so let's grab uh, um, one moment, let's grab ELX 215P. So, um, what is possible uh, with an ELX 215P in the app is, of course, as you can see, you have um, a three band uh, equalizer that you can adjust. By the way, we also included in the uh, update of the app new haptics. So, in example, you can also work with two faders at the same time. Um, and uh, you also have this nice feeling when you are in the zero position, you feel uh, a click and uh, it's really it's really nice to work with. Also, uh, the reaction time is amazing. So it immediately, the moment you change something on the app, you also can hear it on your device. Um, so three band equalizer, of course, you can change volume. You can mute the speaker. Uh, in the button, you also see a signal present and a limit LED. And as you're used to it from the DSP on the back side of your speaker, you can also change uh, the crossover setting by using a generic crossover uh, 80 to 150 hertz, or to use a specific electro voice portable sub uh, where you want to match, in this case, the ELX to uh, 215p to it. Um, Location, you can select the location if you use um, the speaker as a monitor uh, suspended from the ceiling as uh, um, a PA speaker on a, on a stand, on a speaker stand, a tripod or mounted on a wall. And last but not least, as you know, you can change the mode between live for live music, music, music reproduction, club, more uh, EDM style of music or speech applications. So these are the, the basic possibilities uh, you can do with, with that, but just to show you a little bit more, of course, now uh, I can also rename the speaker. Now, in my case, I will call this speaker now PA left. So this is now my PA left speaker. And um, as you might have noticed, you always see when an element is activated or a parameter is changed, then you immediately see the red color um, and you recognize, oh, something is changed there on the EQ or the level and so on. The moment I mute the speaker, it turns white. So you also immediately get a, an, an, an optical uh, feedback from your system that, uh, okay, the speaker is now muted. So for those of you who have an issue with red, because red is some, basically red is a color that you want to use for, I want to see for mute button, or that you want to see when your speaker goes into the limit uh, and the limit LED is signaling. Um, we, of course, can go to the app settings and change the color scheme from Electro Voice to Dynacord Blue. That means we have uh, now all the activated parameters we see now in, in blue, and you are not having a conflict with the red 
uh, of in example a mute button. Okay, so now we have one speaker. Of course, nobody is normally using one speaker. So let's go back and let's look for another 15p. Here we have another 15p. So the second one, uh, and I also will rename this one, and I rename that one to PA right. So now we having PA right and PA left, and I can of course individually change the parameters on those um, speakers. I can change levels, position, and so on. The moment, the moment I go into the system, I can change the overall level. By the way, this is relative, so you keep your individual levels and relatively you move them uh, the level up and down. And the same goes for the system EQ. As you can see here, we are having similar uh, values uh, on the two cabinets, and this is shown by this bar. And then I'm moving relatively, um, the, in this case, the travel in example band, uh, up and down from the speakers. So this is system. So the moment I have uh, several speakers in there, I can um, access them all via the system page. Of course, two speakers are not enough in this case. Now, in example, here we go uh, now to select speaker, and I select uh, two more speakers. Let's grab, ah, exactly, ELX 212 piece. So now I have additional ELX 212 piece in, and the moment I have more than two speakers in, you see group popping up. So now, beside of the system and the access to individual components, uh, individual speakers, I also can create groups. So what is that made for? In example, I add a group now, and beside of the name and the members, I also can give uh, symbols um, to the group. So I, I choose a symbol and I save the group and I go into the group and name this group PA. So now I have a group called PA. And I add another group. I give it the symbol and choose the members. And this group I call rename. This group I call monitors. So now I have two groups and all the elements in the group I can access in, in uh, via the group page and adjust them um, uh, together. So I have now the groups overview and I have the systems overview. And now the group, group part starts when I turn now into horizontal mode. So what we have here is a complete overview of your PA starting from left, PA left, PA right individual. I also can access the speakers now individually, no problem, and adjust them as I want to. So PA left, right, and my two monitors. And then I have the groups here. In example, I can change the level of the PA, or I can access the system EQ of the PA. I can also access the monitor group, adjust the EQ in here, or change the level. Uh, and I have my systems complete overview where I again have a complete EQ and level over the whole system. At the same time, I can also mute the whole system or I can say, no, I just mute the monitors because during the break, I want to run uh, music via my PA system. So my PA is still open. So you see a very, very powerful tool to control uh, your PA system. And in this case, it's really a system solution. Um, of course, you can add uh, two more speakers. So in total, you can add six, up to six um, uh, elements. And this would be, for example, two subs of the ELIX line in the PA. And then you would have a complete control of your PA system uh, and your monitor system via the app. So a perfect tool for uh, controlling, setting up, and supervising your PA system. Um, the next member, the next member uh, in the family of portable speakers that was making use of um, 
of the QuickSmart app was Evolve 50. So let's have a quick look now to Evolve 50. So what is different on Evolve 50? So on Evolve 50, we see um, basically uh, the same or a similar overview. We have this three band um, EQ. Um, of course, we see a sub level. So we have an additional possibility to change the level of the sub within the Evolve system. We have the overall volume as we uh, saw already before. I can mute and so on. Uh, we have the mode. There's no location because the speaker is the Evolve system is always standing on the ground or on stage. So no other possibilities. But what is different is we have a delay. So here we have a delay and then you also see the first time our scroll bar. So the scroll bar we use for adjusting parameters or values within uh, the app. Um, I explain you later when we come to the mixer why we have decided to go for the scroll bar for adjusting uh, parameters within the app. Um, okay, Evolve 50, but overall you see very similar to Elix 200, the overall setting and all overall um, possibilities. The next member in our portable lineup was then um, already Evolve 30. So let's get an Evolve 30 in. And as you can see here, a new button button comes in called Edit Mixer. But before we go to the Edit Mixer possibilities, we go down to Function, because if I change the function to Basic Mode, I um, can, as you see here, change the Basic. I can use the Evo 30M as I use an Evo 50. That means, in example, also with a delay. So also here, I have then the possibility to adjust a delay in case the Evo 30M is used in a delay line. But of course, only delay or mixer makes sense because you will not use the mixer functionality in a delay line speaker. That's why you have to choose between the two possibilities. So I go now back to the mixer. So now I'm back on uh, mixing mode and I edit the mixer. So now we are the first time within uh, the mixer section of our app. Um, as you can see, we have designed the app in two ways. One is the use uh, in, in uh, vertical mode uh, or in the other one is in horizontal use. Uh, obviously, when you use it horizontally, it immediately looks like a digital mixer or more like the surface of a digital mixer. But being a musician, I prefer this way um, because when you use it this way, uh, in example, your iPad, uh, to have your notes and everything on your iPad, you will not change for controlling a PA or mixer, you will not change the position of your iPad. So that's why it is important to really control it also on a vertical uh, uh, mode or on a, a portrait mode um, perfectly. And also the one hand control is really important and cool. So whenever I, in example, go into a channel, I choose now the first channel. And now I explain you also the scroll bar and the sense of it. Uh, I, in example, choose the level as you can on the, see on the right frame around. And then via the scroll bar, I can change the level up and down. So very easy and there's not a big risk that something goes wrong. Um, so then I go in example to uh, the compressor and then I move the compressor in. Or I, uh, I go to the uh, effect send and I move the effect send in. So now, of course, this is now on the right hand side. And this is also important for you to know in the app settings, there's another important feature which is called the control layout. Right handed, I change now to left handed, and then you find your bar your scroll bar on the left side. So also an important feature for controlling it with one hand, but not only for controlling it with one hand, just imagine you are playing an instrument and you have to quickly choose, you have to quickly choose a, a, a value that you want to change. 
and go up and down. And this really works perfect in here. And you don't have to twizzle around with, with a pot that you have to move up and down or left or right. So really easy and really good to use also during playing music. So going back to the mixer overview, I will change now to the landscape mode. As I said here, it already looks more like a mixer. So let's go quickly through the mixer section. So what we have on Evo 30M is four mono inputs, uh, one stereo input and one Bluetooth stereo input. Um, and I can access via the surface, it's now the main view, I can access uh, every channel, go into the details of the channel. And just to explain that also quickly, what can I do in a channel? I have um, Just turning that down for a moment. First of all, first of all, I can choose, and that's really cool. I can choose a preset. So when I start up and do the sound check, I choose an example now a vocal filter. Vocal filter is something you might know from uh, PowerMate. So all PowerMate users will be happy to find this feature in this app. Um, because there's more on this blue color than just uh, a blue color in the app. So you will see a lot of knowledge and features coming from the Dynacode mixing uh, know-how and engineering into, into, this, um, into this product. Um, so I can choose my preset uh, and this preset can be a pure simple low cut, but it also can be a voice filter, voice mic, bass guitar, electric guitar, or if you're a guitar player, check out the Cory Wong guitar preset, a uh, really cool thing. Then I have my three band equalizer that I can uh, adjust. I have a compressor. Um, I have two effect sense, uh, effect engine one and effect engine two, more details will follow later. I have an auxiliary, so an aux that I can use for monitors or as a master B out. And of course I have level. And you can of course mute. Um, to get a better overview, you can also rename the channel. And I call this first channel now an example, Chris. But just to show you that as well, you, are, you can also, if you want to, you can also use uh, emojis. So an example, a guitar symbol. And also when you go back to your mixer, you also see this guitar symbol then in the overview. So uh, this is also a very, very cool way, a nice way to get a good overview on the mixing. Um, so now we saw um, uh, the elements of the standard mono input. Let's have a look to a stereo input. Um, on the stereo input, we have no compressor because typically a stereo input is used for, in example, keyboards, where you're not in, where you're not in the need of um, of a um, compressor. Then we go into uh, the next one, which is the Evolve uh, 30M Bluetooth stereo input. Also there we left out some features which are not needed. And last but not least, let's go into the main section. So here we have our effect units. Um, effect engine one uh, is taking care of reverbs and delays and combinations. And Effect Engine 2 is taking care for chorus, uh, flanger effects, doubling effects, and so on. Of course, we can switch on and off the effects and choose the effects we want to use. Then we have our auxiliary or aux. Uh, on the aux, some, we have two main features. One is I can define if it's the aux mix or if it's another main mix, number one. And number two, I have a seven band graphic EQ, which is really helpful. Also here, as I said before, you always see the color blue, so it's activated. If I deactivate it, white. So always a uh, good, good overview. And last but not least, we come to the master. And the master, I define, first of all, if the master, the mix out, uh, becomes stereo left, stereo right. So what's the overall setup I'm, I'm using? And also on the master, I'm having a seven band equalizer uh, graphic equalizer available. So going back to the complete overview again, of course, as you're used to it uh, from a normal mixing desk, you can change to the effect sense one. So you can also choose uh, the channels you want to have on the effect uh, send one or effect bus number two. 
Um, and you can also choose the level of your channels on the monitor output in example. So basically what we are what we are having here is sorry uh, a complete a complete mixing desk that you uh, digital mixer that you can use either up uh, upright if you are a musician or in a in the horizontal landscape mode if you are more used to the overview as a mixer looks like and also just to give you an idea um evolve 30m with the number of channels you have available you can in example easily mix uh, 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 a trio on on evolve 30m so you have lead vocals you have backing vocals um, you have uh, percussion and guitar in example and stereo keyboard so easily possible. And on top you have for breaks, uh, you can run music via your Bluetooth uh, device and stream into Evolve 30 m So really powerful product and powerful system plus a really cool intuitive uh, app to control it. So, and last but not least, um, we are changing now into um, the Evolve 50M. And therefore, as I said before, I will um, go to the general app settings and stop the demo mode. So I'm now out of the demo mode and now I have to look for speakers. So I will uh, refresh now and behind me, um, I have two Evil 50Ms and you can see them now on my mobile phone. So I choose both um, devices and press apply. And now all the parameters of the two systems are loaded into the app. Of course, you can imagine it's not only the setup of the PA system, um, it's also the mixer, the digital mixer, and all this information needs to be moved now into um, the app, and that takes a little bit of time. Just a small hint, um, the same way you are also doing an example uh, firmware update. So whenever a new firmware is available for Evo 50M or 30M, you get an information on, uh, on the app, and you can um, you can um, upgrade your firmware via your phone. Uh, so really, also a cool way and easy way to always stay up to date uh, in terms of firmware and settings of your system. So now I have the two Evolve 50 Ms um, in my system overview, and as before, I can access them individually. I can go switch between the two systems. I can edit the mixer and so on. Same functionality, same mixer, digital mixer, as I introduced to you on, um, on the Evolve Serium. So what's so cool now about um, Evolve 50M? Evolve 50M has one more feature, and this feature is called Quick Smart Link. And this is something I have to do now. Um, um, I will connect now the two systems behind me via a CUT5 cable. So you can use a CUT5 or CUT6 cable for it. And what we have done there, or what we what what happens there is uh, actually we have a proprietary uh, audio bus as well as control bus running via this cable. So this is not an intern uh, in Ethernet um, connectivity. So this is a proprietary bus that links the two systems to each other. And of course, when that happens. On the hardware itself, you get a uh, information. So on the display, it asks you, hey, shall I receive the parameters from, this, from the second one or should I send my parameters? And the setting you find on your app. So when you are now going to the speaker and select one of them, um, it asks you, hey, quick smart link is there, uh, shall I send or receive? What happens there is nothing else than a handshake between the two systems, because from now on they will work uh, together in, in, in a setup, and then one set or one system needs to send out the parameters to the other one to align it. So in this case, I say send, and the speaker also shall become stereo left in my setup. And now you see here on the top, you see that the speakers are linked to each other. Uh, and also, if I go back to system, you see in the middle the link symbol. 
So what does that mean? Not only that, of course, uh, everything you do now uh, in the app always works on both systems, but what is really cool actually is that uh, you extend it now, uh, first of all, um, your system to a left right system. So all the settings in the master um, in the master are defined. The master uh, bus is exchanged between the two systems, number one. The aux bus is exchanged between the two systems. And what we have created beside the left right system is that you also have a left and right stage box. So that's a really cool thing. So you increased uh, the number um, of channels um, within your system to eight uh, mono channels plus two stereo channels and the Bluetooth input. Um, and you have that split it in a left and a right stage box also to make it easy to cable on stage. And all of them and all of that basically is controlled via um, the app. Uh, very easy and you just step through your, your channels um, and you have a left and a right setup. And in example, you of course can rename now your uh, devices to left and right, which makes it also easy and rename all your channels. And you have a really intuitive setup um, for even a little bit bigger sized bands with up to eight channels, mono channels and, um, uh, and the two stereo channels for running also bigger setups. Um, and last but not least, but just to mention, um, going now uh, back to the system overview and into, um, into Evolve 50M, where it is of course also important, um, you can also store presets on your Evolve 30M or 50M. So most likely musicians run in different setups, duos, trios, or playing solo, and then you can store and recall presets, and you can store up to five presets, so five different combinations of bands you can store um, in your Evolve 50M, which makes it then easy to recall and makes a quick setup possible. So, um, this basically was my uh, quick introduction and guide through uh, the QuickSmart mobile app. As I said before, if you not have done it yet, please download it, um, select the demo mode and play with it. It's a really cool tool um, and it's really fun to work with as a musician, but also uh, as a sound engineer when it comes into, let's say, small applications like audio video applications, exhibitions, press conferences, such type. Uh, of events. So really fun to work with, cool to try it. Thank you. Perfect, perfect, Christian. Thank you very much for your detailed guidance through the app. Uh, at least for me, it explained more or less the entire feature set which we are offering of our QuickSmart mobile app. Uh, Michiel also already uh, inserted, uh, please enter your questions here in our comment box. So we have seen that so far, no questions raised at the audience. So please, <laughs> please let us know if something is unclear, uh, unclear. But I think also, also a very important topic, what we have to mention here, Christian, I guess, is also our new trainings material, which we have available for our Quick Smart link. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you already have seen it, but we also posted it on social media. And here we also explaining in a five or four and a half, five minute video, how to use Quick Smart Link, how the physical uh, both system must be connected. And then there's also a, a rough guidance how to, how to configure it in our mobile app. Now I have seen that we have one question from Sasha Mike. App is red, yours blue. Is it the same version we use? Hey, that's a good question. Maybe yes. you can explain again the color coding question. Um, you have uh, the same app, uh, so I'm not using a special version of the app. If you go to the general app settings, um, app settings, you have the possibility to change 
the color code. And I'm now at the Dyna code and I change now to Electro Voice color code, go back and then my app is red. So uh, we are using the same app. I personally prefer the blue color code, um, as I said before, um, because the blue color code uh, leaves the red color for things like mute. And then I'm not getting mixed up with mute buttons or limit LEDs and so on. So I prefer blue for every all the parameters um, as a color and red to be used only for mute and um, um, other indications like limit. Yeah. You're welcome, Sasha. Yeah, and I think it's also a good marriage of both brands. Uh, as you said, Christian, so uh, I mean, all of us should not forget that at least we are speaking now about an elect voice portable speaker, column loudspeaker, which uh, includes the heart of Dynacord in form of our integrated mixer. So I think it's also a nice gadget to have both color codes visible and choosable in, in our Prismart mobile app. Yeah. And I mean, it's also not a secret, the effect algorithms uh, and the programming uh, of the mixer and all of that is done in Straubing. So it's really a, a great uh, example for a cooperation of ElectroVoice and Dynacord and the integration of a Dynacord mixer into a portable loudspeaker product from ElectroVoice. Yes, I, I fully agree. So any further questions? Yeah, I think, uh, Christian, you're too good. You're too good in explanations. No, no. <laughs> so, because then I think maybe we can close the call. Uh, but nevertheless, I mean, all of you know how to reach Christian or myself. So uh, afterwards, when you think, ah, now I have one question in my mind, uh, which pops up later, then uh, anyway, feel free to contact us. And yeah, it was a pleasure for us to have you on the line and to um, to entertain you a little bit on Monday afternoon. And we, I hope uh, you can start good in the week. And yeah, take care and speak to you. <laughs> take care. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>